Barman Bravens Twist has a massive mecha anime pedigree. If you intend to watch Bang Brave Bang Braven, but you haven't seen at least the first episode yet, stop reading now. Seriously, trust us, get at least episode 1 under your belt, then come back. If you're already caught up, then read on, but it's worth the experience. That to put episode for yourself. Done. Okay, great. Because we're here to talk about that beautiful bait and switch. The fact that Masami Obari's new military mecha anime is actually a full-on, self-aware brief show for a certain subsection of mecha anime fans. This is a dream come true. For a lot of the rest of you, those words don't mean a thing, but don't worry, we're here to help because this season's giant robot epic is worth digging into, both in and itself, is because of what it pays tribute to. The director. First off, let's talk about the main himself. Masami Obari, the director of Bang Braven, is a legend in the world of anime and that be so in the world of mecha anime. If you ever need big, bold super robots in an episode of your ser of your series, like say that one episode of Masmal Breaker, you could call him. Heck, Pop Peter Ape Team Epic, call him into the wreck a parody of his own work. He's done key animation for every major robot franchise, from Macros to Gundam, and he regularly works on the Super Robot Wars franchise. His trademark dynamic poses and heroic designs are unmistakable once you see them a couple of times, and they're reminiscent of Sunrise's rib shows, many of which he worked on back in the day. If you know, you know. But if you don't, let's do a quick crash course in brave shows. The key to victory. Remember Transformers? It was just as popular in Japan as it was in the US, at least for a while. But in the late 1980s, Toei and Takara, Tommy, were at odds about whether to continue the franchise. After a recent deep in popularity, so Takara went to Sunrise Sunrise to start a new Transforming Robot franchise. The result was Sunrise's Brave, or Yusha series. Starting with Brave x Kaiser, like Transformers, x Kaiser started starred a sentient transforming robot who needed to help a blocky, heroic kids to save the world. As the franchise progressed, two things happened. Firstly, it revitalized the super robot genre to a degree unseen scenes before Gundam and other real robot shows took the stage. Secondly, its dedication to simpler, kid-centric stories fell away. By 1997's The King of Braves, Go Gygar, the franchise was still selling toys and introducing kid heroes. However, the story were more complex and occasionally darker, and while there have been manga, light novels, and unoffic unofficial Brave series installments, the franchise was effectively laid to rest. A hero is born, until Bang Raven, but it's made at side games rather than Sunrise, Obari's new creation carries the brave spirit with it, and it seems will be interrogated that same spirit. Bravern, our sentient alien robot hero, acts just as you expect a robot in a brave series to act. The human protagonist is his best friend, Aldro Braven. Brother is all that concerned about praising as he describes what it's like to be piloted. Military red tape means nothing in the face of his straightforward goal, but aliens are coming, and only Braven and his bestie can stop them. It's what every 10 year old dreams of, but the grown up Isami is drawn or terrified. That said, Bang Braven doesn't seem to be mocking the brave show so many of us love, just recontextualizing them against the backdrop of adulthood. We can wait to see what this series has in store for us. At the moment, Go Gaigar is the only brave series license in the US. Yep, Obari did some work on it. If you want a better idea of Bang Braven's roots, you should absolutely give it a watch. If you want more, pick up Super Robot Wars 30. It has units from both Go Gaigar and G Decker.